Happy to have joining me now is the Acting Medical Officer of Health for the Halliburton Court of Pine Ridge District Health Unit, Dr. Ian Gemmel. And Dr. Gemmel, I want to thank you very much for uh, first off starting off the media sessions that you, we've had about four of and uh, informing the media so we can inform the public as to what is happening in the uh, district health unit district. You're taking it one step further now with a new program that's called Talk with the doc. So explain what that's all about and why you're taking these steps. Well, thanks, Mark, first of all, for inviting me. And uh, I really want to uh, take every effort that we can to get information out there to all of our partners, including the public, on what's going on with the pandemic. Uh, we have uh, uh, instituted some discussions now with primary care, as you mentioned, with the media, with our municipal partners and so on. The issue here is that, uh, I mean, I hear a lot of things um, from the province of Ontario, uh, but and they kind of assume that everybody knows what I'm hearing, but it's not actually the, the case. So this will give the public a chance to uh, pose their questions, uh, uh, preferably beforehand, so we can uh, make sure we've got the, uh, the right answers for them, and um, uh, then have some discussions so that not only that person, but everybody else can hear what's going on. And there is a lot. I mean, there's questions people have about these variants that have, uh, have uh, developed uh, with coronavirus and have now been introduced to Canada. There are questions about the vaccine. Uh, when will we get it? How uh, um, uh, will we uh, get it rolled out? Who will be first in line and so on? So all of these things I think are um, important for people to know so that they can have a good understanding of where we're going and how we're all together going to get there. And I say that because we are in this together. And by together, I mean, um, we have to do the things to reduce the spread right now uh, as, a, as, a, as a community so that people aren't infected before they have a chance to get that vaccine. And then uh, together, I think we're going to see the light at the end of the tunnel. So there's lots of questions out there, I'm sure, Mark, and uh, we welcome the chance to uh, have the public uh, pose their questions. And uh, anything on coronavirus uh, is fair game. Now, I understand it is open up to the whole entire health unit, uh, uh, ranging all the way from the far east corner to the far west corners and everything in, in between. Correct. Yeah, so, I mean, uh, we have got some variations in, in, in the activity of coronavirus. We're not like the GTA or Ottawa or Windsor, where they have very intense uh, uh, transmission. But we do have uh, variations. We're seeing some activity uh, in certain areas where there are long-term care homes that were helping to deal with outbreaks and so on. And people may have questions about that. Uh, we've got some areas that are more remote uh, where um, there uh, is not a lot of activity of coronavirus, but there definitely still is activity. And then there's also the things that we want, the messages we want to get across, like don't travel, don't gather, you know, stay home for now. Because if we do all those things, then we can get to uh, some point a few weeks from now when we have lots of vaccine, when the uh, winter is over and the virus can't circulate as much so that we can um, uh, get people immunized and get back to a normal way of doing business. I think that's what we all want. So how can people get involved, Dr. Gemmel? The um, media people at uh, HKPR District Health Unit uh, have got uh, a, a system set up using Teams. They are asking uh, for the uh, questions to, to some of the questions, not all, but some of the questions to come in uh, in advance. Uh, they will need to register so we, we know how many people. There's a certain, uh, I think, a limited number of uh, participants uh, through the uh, program that's being used. But as I understand, it would also be uh, run through YouTube. So even if one's not actually right on the, uh, uh, um, in the, uh, <laughs> A virtual room uh, they still can watch uh, from uh, a, um, a distance. So please do uh, check our website and uh, if you have any additional questions give a call to the media group at HKPR District Health. And the first one is coming up just around the corner uh, on Tuesday uh, February 16th. That's right so um, you know we're going to try to see the best possible day of the week and the best possible time to do it. We picked a time that uh, we uh, hope there will be uh, lots of people uh, uh, available. Uh, so next Tuesday, the day after Family Day, uh, um, uh, early in the afternoon is the uh, first session. And then based on feedback that we get from the public, uh, if this is popular, then we'll continue with it. Uh, or if there's some other way of getting more information out to the public, because that's, you know, while we don't have the vaccine, information is really the most important thing that people need 
so that they can understand what's going on and do the very uh, uh, things that need to be done to protect themselves, their families, and the community. One question I have for you, Dr. Gemmel, that doesn't pertain to this, and it's a, it's just a, a it's probably not a simple question, but come next Tuesday, I you, we look at this, and it's almost like there's a, a three-headed animal going to come at us uh, next Tuesday. Um, the uh, stay-at-home orders are going to be lifted. We now see the variants of uh, COVID-19 in our in our community, and uh, you know we still don't have the vaccine uh, vaccines ready available for the public. What's your message to the people come next Tuesday? Well, I, I guess it's uh, the most important one is be patient. Um, this kind of pandemic sort of nightmare uh, will come to an end. I have no doubt about that. And it's going to come to an end because we're very lucky. We have a safe and effective set of vaccines that can be used to protect us. The problem right now is that everybody out there, or at least almost everybody, those people who have not been exposed are susceptible. and the, with all these susceptibles out there, the virus will spread. We're keeping it under control with people's good behavior, staying at home and so on, but that has to be sustained until we can get a few weeks down the road where we've got more vaccine, we're out of the winter, and we can get people protected so that next winter, we're going to have more of a normal life, I hope, Mark.